morning. I have a really fun, very uh, small group collaboration to share today. Um, so, I don't know, maybe maybe a month ago, maybe six weeks ago, um, I was inspired by Birgit Copeson on all of her alcohol ink, um, gel plate, uh, tags that she was creating. So I kind of went through this huge, as you can tell, this is a very small selection of what I made. Um, I started making a bunch of them and I fell in love with them and I started making some tag books and I thought it would be kind of fun to get some other people who were inspired by those videos, so here's some other ones, to participate in a tag swap. So we each swapped out two tags to each person in the swap and we made little books out of them. Um, so I wanted to share my little tag book. You can see it's pretty chunky. Um, I probably need to add a little bit more glue into this because I can see that binding is coming apart because it is so chunky. Um, I could also put some uh, book binding tape on here and that would really hold it together. But it's not as it's not as chunky. I mean, it is chunky, but not as chunky as some of my books because um, I did try to retain or uh, pare back a little bit of my chunkiness. But what I did was take the tags, six tags from everybody, added a bunch of tags of my own, and then I some of the people had some little goodies in their little packages, so I used that stuff, and I just wanted to use what was on my desk. And I love creating that way. I'm super inspired by creating in that method um, and that's what this book is so that's what the little bits and pieces are here in the front of the book and I'll take you through each page of the book um, I collaged some of these pinup um, ephemera that I had in a pack um, on every almost every page and I kinda like that consistency I used a lot of uh, Didi Catron's or Catron I'm not sure actually how you say the last name, tapes on these pages and it was a perfect little compliment um, to, to kind of my design of the book. So you can see here I did take some of my stencil or not my stencils but stencil girl stencils, stencils I had in my stash and to create a, again because the colors were so varied on these tags I needed to create some consistency across through the whole book so I used a lot of black and white and that's what I do a lot when you have a lot of very bright colors you can kind of pair it back and tone it down with black and white so that's kind of why you see the black and white here you see these black spots and the black and white flower here is because that's how I did that and then on some of these tags um, the stenciled shape I wanted to really highlight so all I did on this one because you can see this beautiful little windowed arch here I just took some white acrylic ink and filled in some of where the window spaces would be and did some little black watered down with black acrylic ink X's in them and I love it that's all I did on that page um, and again, you can see some of the pinups here. And I just pulled out my little basket of uh, scraps, and that's how I uh, did each page here. And this one has a little flip up. So one of the participants had these little transparency sheets with the alcohol ink, and I love that. So I had this on the background, and the little sheet flips up over top. So again, you can see the black and white here, and again, that just kind of brings you through to the next page. And then this um, page, I did cover a lot of the tag up, but that's fine because you can see the little snippets of it behind here. But again, kind of a bold black and white image. And then I did a little tip in here with these, ta these uh, I think they're old uh, Commonwealth of PA, like driver's license tags that I got at the uh, vintage store and just took some of Dee Dee's tape to attach it and um, did a little tip in here and I really really like that a lot and then some tags again I didn't do a ton I just drew little flower shapes inside of it and that was it because I thought the tag was so beautiful 
So this one, again, too, I wanted to highlight the diamond shapes that were on the original tag, so I just cut out some of these and, and glued them down. And again, very simple on this background. And I, I like this, too. I like little bits when they hang off over the edge. So again, in my little scrap basket, I just, with my tiny attacher, which I love, just stapled them on. And another little tip in here. And so with the participants that I sent tags to, I made some of my own washi tape on the gel plate and I took some medical tape and um, added it down to the gel plate and that's what it is here and it's hard to see because it is such a busy background but um, I just covered it with matte medium because I actually had to put the sticky side down to pull up the image on the tape but it was kind of a fun element so everyone that got tags from me also got some of this handmade washi tape. But I love these little tippins that are in these books. And again, I have so all these little tea bag things that I thought they were in my little basket of scraps, so I just added them here. And this was a little tag that I had done on my gel plate, and I thought it would be fun just to kind of staple that in there. It doesn't really tip, tip up all the way, but it's just a fun little element. And again, you see a lot of this black and white um, here. I even pulled out some of my old scrapbook <laughs> embellishments and this was before I did my big purge here but um, I didn't, this is probably one of the bulkiest things on the page but I thought that was kind of fun to put on there. And again I have this little element that's going over the edge. I pulled out some of these um, embellishment um, paper clips too for my scrapbook stash. And then for my uh, tie, I took one of the tags, folded it over, and these were on the tops of some of the people's tags. It was just a tag with some tie. So I took the ties off and I attached it to this tag. I stapled it on to this tag. And then um, I just put some beads on with a little paper clip and that's what actually holds my little tag book together. I love creating um, ties in that manner. So please check out everyone else's little books. I'm sure you will love them all. And, uh